please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's up, Hawks Day is Thursday, January 12th. My name is Ainsley, and you're watching HNN. Winter Formal will be held on Saturday, February 11th at the Yost Theater in Santa Ana. The dance will be from 7 to 10 p.m. There will be dancing, a DJ, casino tables, a photo booth, and lots of desserts. Tickets go on sale next Tuesday and can be purchased online or in the student store, but guest tickets are only available in the student store. And all guests must complete a guest contract located outside the ASB office. Any boys interested in playing lacrosse should attend today's tryout starting at 6 p.m. For the next three weeks, lacrosse tryouts will be held every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 6 to 9 p.m. in the stadium and weight room. Any girls interested in lacrosse can attend tryouts next week from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. also in the stadium. Experience is not necessary. Just come on out and have fun. Seniors, don't forget that today is the panoramic class photo being taken in tutorial. So stop whatever you're doing and head on out to the stadium immediately. And just a reminder to staff members, this Friday the PTSA is sponsoring a welcome back luncheon in the staff lounge. So we hope to see you there. Now let's send it to Danny and Holland for Picnopedia. Hi, I'm your host Danny. Welcome back to another host of Picnopedia. I'm here with Deputy Hollis, Hello. right? Hello, yes, Deputy Hollis. So I heard you actually came here to school, I right? I did. I did so, come here. So like, this is like your little homecoming back. It like, is a little homecoming welcome party. for me. Yes. Yeah. So like, do you recognize any teachers here? So I haven't seen them yet, um, but I do know that two of my prior teachers still work here. Okay. That's gonna be Mr. Macaray. I had him for English mm -hmm. freshman year. And then Mr. Lester, and forgive me, but I think it was for history, history. or is he doing math? I'm pretty sure he does history, math. right? History? I can't recall, but I know I had him as well. So what's excited working at your old school, like Laguna Hills, you I'm know? I'm super excited to be back here. Um, this is like my home away from home. I was born and raised in this city, so coming back to my high school um, is, is a very exciting new position for me, and I'm super excited to be here with you guys. What are your hopes to bring to the school? Like something new that you're going to bring to us? Absolutely. So obviously, first and foremost is safety. Your guys' safety is my biggest concern. But more importantly, um, just bring that community aspect back that, you know, we here in law enforcement are here as a resource to you guys. Um, we're counselors to you guys. So we're not just here to bring people to jail. We're, you know, we're here to be a service to you and, and help you guys out in the community in any which way we could, even if that's just to sit down and chat about your day or whatever it may be, but I'm excited to kind of bring those two worlds together. Is there anything else you would like to say to the students, like share to us, like any advice or like any tips? Right? Um, I always tell people, follow your dreams. I never in a million years thought I would be sitting here back at my high school, so it's kind of surreal that I'm actually here. Um, you know, do do what you feel is is in your heart and, and continue to pursue that, whatever it may be. Um, I never thought I was gonna be in law enforcement. I actually was in a completely different field before this, um, but I am super excited to be here. I kind of combined my old world as a, as a therapist and now I'm working in law enforcement. Um, so I kind of was able to combine those two worlds. So what I tell all my, my uh, ju juveniles or juvies around me in my field, um, don't, don't give up. Just just pursue what makes you happy, for sure. Okay, so we're gonna wrap it up now. Yeah. So like, is there anything else you like to say? You want to say goodbye to the camera? Um, nope. I'm just super excited to be here, you guys. Um, go Hawks, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna be around, and I love sports. So I hope to see you guys all out at the sporting events because I will definitely be there for you guys. Well, that's all for today, folks. End of Picnopedia. Goodbye. For more information on how you can join Deputy Hollis with the OC Explorers, scan the following QR code and submit your interest form today. Back to you. Thanks, Danny. Now let's send it to Annie with sports. Thanks, Ainsley. On Tuesday night, the boys' basketball team hosted the University Trojans. The Hawks got off to a slow start, trailing the Trojans by 15 at the half. But in the third quarter, the Hawks' offense came alive. Senior Elijah Lacquin led the charge, putting up 28 points in the second half. 
He also hit two free throws late in the fourth quarter to send the game to overtime where the Hawks came through, completing the comeback by a score of 64-58. to Congratulations to our boys' basketball team. The boys will be back in action tomorrow when they host Portola High School with tip-off scheduled for 7 p.m. We look forward to seeing you there. Later today, the girls' water polo team will host Portola High School with the swim-off scheduled for 3.30 p.m. And tomorrow, the boys' wrestling team will compete in the Five Counties International at Fountain Valley High School starting at 9 a.m. Also tomorrow, the boys' soccer team will travel to Portola High School in Irvine to take on the Bulldogs starting at 3.15. But if you'd rather stay closer to home, the girls' soccer team will host Portola starting at 5.15. And if you'd rather stay inside tomorrow, stop by the gym where girls' basketball team will take on Portola starting at 5.30. There are sure to be a lot of great athletic events these next two days, so be sure to come out and support our Hawks. Back to you, Ainsley. Thanks, Annie. And thank you for watching HNN. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at lhhs.hnn and go Hawks.